exhibit is 200 years of African American art, the Arthur Primus collection, and it is taken from obviously the collection of Arthur Primus, who owns about 300 original pieces of African American art. About 90 are represented here in this exhibition, and it's really important because it, it represents um, several really well-known artists in African American history, and also discusses that history, uh, why these artists are important, why the things that they discussed were important, the impact that they had on our history. It's only on display at the Irving Arts Center for a short time, and some days of all the middle schoolers were fortunate enough to get to visit and take a peek into that history. We are so excited to have this opportunity because our kids, I teach humanities, so art is a big part of that, and a lot of our kids don't get to go to museums, so we're learning how to, you know, proper museum behavior, but we're also looking at how these different works of art include math, science, and um, the theme of tolerance, which our English teacher is teaching this year. My theme is patterns, so we're seeing patterns in them, and kids are learning about things that they wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to learn about. It's helpful because like, it shows us like how many other cultures it is in, a lot, in our world, and it tells us about different people and what they went through back then. For me, high school is going to be hard in the future, so history, this is going to kind of help out. The students not only get to admire the historic works, they also learn a little history about some of the art and artists. So this one is actually a real departure for Charles White. He did not do a lot of things in color. This one's called Gospel Singers, and it talks about the importance of gospel music and church um, in the African American community. A lot of these artists they will begin to learn about if they take art classes. Um, a lot of them are cubist artists, a lot of sculpture, um, a lot of impressionist artists in here. So a lot of the styles that they see in this exhibition, they will start to learn about, whether it's by these artists or other artists who are influenced by them. I think it's important because we can like get some information about how it was a long time ago during the time of slavery and we can also like learn from this. It's important because we have to learn about different cultures and how art is expressed through people and about the civil rights movement and how segregation started in slavery. This is life and if we can't prepare our kids for real life we're not doing our jobs so hopefully when they go into a museum they'll be respectful. Hopefully they'll know that sidewalks are made for walking on. You don't have a sidewalk to walk on the grass. Um, and just, you know, to look at something like this painting I'm looking at and to look at all the faces, to look at the title, to look at when it came from, how it connects.